Welcome back to the adventure. Today we are adding Windows updates to our custom installation disk for Windows XP. To get started, we need to open the installation disk image that we've been modifying and extract its contents to a new folder on the desktop. It may take a few minutes for everything to copy over. There are certain things that we do every time we install Windows XP. Updating the system is one of those things. Granted, XP has been out of support for several years, some users may not care about updating the system. However, if you're watching this video, you probably do. Next, we are going to need a tool called Enlight. Similar to the driver pack's base, this tool is what will be updating the installation disk image with the patches we select. When launching Enlight, we get a welcome screen. Click Next. Click the Browse button to select the path to the new folder on the desktop. If successful, some information will appear below the folder path. Note that the disk image we're working with has Service Pack 3 pre-installed. Click Next. If you haven't used Enlight before, this page won't have any presets available to load, so you may click Next. Here we have a menu of different actions. For our purposes, we want to select Service Packs and Hotfixes, then click Next. Click the Select button and browse to the Service Pack. In this case, it's Service Pack 4 that we're slipstreaming. Enlight will extract the contents of the Service Pack to a temporary folder before it will incorporate those files into the installation disk. This process may take several minutes to complete. In testing, I found that there are initially three additional security updates available after installing Service Pack 4. Windows Search, PowerShell 2.0, and .NET Framework. This is excluding the updates for the POS Ready version. There were over a hundred of those available. We will get a prompt from Enlight when the process is done. Click the OK button and then we can click the Next button. On this screen, we can select individual patches to slipstream. We can start with the three updates that were identified earlier. After those updates are installed and the PC is rebooted, Windows finds 15 more updates. So we can go ahead and add those in here as well. But wait! I have attempted to slipstream the security updates from the POS Ready version of XP, and it does not work. However, there are 17 updates for .NET Framework on the POS Ready version of XP that can be slipstreamed. So we can add those in here as well. Now we can finally click the Next button and let Enlight run through the process. While we are waiting, we can talk about the security updates for the POS Ready version. What we can do is when we update our custom installation disk, we can add a new folder called Tools and put both the proxy and Windows Update Mini tool into that folder. That way, after we've installed Windows XP, we can browse the disk and just copy that Tools folder over to the desktop. Open the folder and double-click on Add WSUS. Next, click on Run WSUS. If you receive a prompt from Windows Firewall, click Unblock. Now we should have a command prompt window open with some text on it. That can be minimized. Go back to our Tools folder and launch the Windows Update Mini tool. Then we can check for updates. Uh -huh. 
After installing the updates that the mini tool finds, we have the most up-to-date installation of Windows XP possible. All relevant links will be down in the video description. I will be releasing this custom installation disk image along with an additional disk image that contains all the updates that were slipstreamed. If you appreciate all the hard work that went into creating this custom Windows XP installation disk, please feel free to click subscribe. If you think I've done a terrible job, please dislike the video. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.